So Very Nice is a global design strategy consultancy that gives half of its work away for free to nonprofits. Uh, we have a small team here in Los Angeles and a larger distributed team of over 400 different design and strategy professionals located all around the world. Um, we do a lot of work with nonprofits, but on the other side, we work with startups. And we found that both of those types of clients are good for us because they pretty much both start with nothing. Uh, and we like to do a little bit of everything for a client from web design to branding to strategic planning, even copywriting, marketing strategy, uh, and so on. Uh, and we've been around for almost eight years. Uh, and it stemmed originally from my freelance practice that I started when I was 16 years old, um, which was uh, kind of this accidental uh, engagement that really led to the beginning of my design career. When I first heard about the mentorship program for AIGA, it was really exciting to me because it was this opportunity to work with designers in Los Angeles um, who could use the support. In general, I'm a big fan of of mentoring other designers or young entrepreneurs, mainly because when I started Very Nice, I actually started when I was 19, uh, and it was kind of this lofty goal of, hey, I want this design firm that changes the world, right? And because of that lofty goal, kind of naive mindset, I almost had an impossible time finding mentors for myself. Uh, and so I know how hard it is to try to make a big change in your career or try to launch something without the support of someone that's been there. And so kind of inspired by that difficulty that I had, I've always wanted to make sure that I, you know, kind of walked the walk and actually did what I wish I had access to. Um, so that's really why I'm doing this. What I've liked about the program, um, the mentorship program, is having these regular meetings with Donna, with my mentee, and having her come here. Um, has been really, you know, sort of convenient for me, but then has also been a really nice um, way to kind of end my day because we tend to do it after she gets off work and after I'm done um, with things around the studio uh, as well. So she'll get here and we'll go through a lot of the things that we talked about the previous month uh, and see, you know, what could we sort of improve upon or what has she accomplished. And I've really liked that, that kind of regimented schedule to, for really for both of us, be like, hey, you know, Donna, have you done what we said you were going to do? And then, hey, Matt, has what you suggested worked? <laughs> you know, we can kind of both check ourselves um, during those sessions, which is great. My favorite task that I've given Donna is the Pecha Kucha assignment. That's something that, that somebody had told me to do once. And, and basically, it's, it's a format of a talk where you do 20 slides and each slide is only up for 20 seconds. And so what's really cool about it is it rushes you a little bit or it gives you way too much time if you don't plan um, enough for each slide to really create this nice story arc. And one of her goals joining this program was, uh, you know, one of the kind of boxes that she checked was that desire to get into that kind of thought leadership space. And so I told her, you know, be, not necessarily going out tomorrow and doing some big talk or something is the most important thing in the world, but if you have a, a talk in your back pocket that tells your story in a really unique way, um, it can really drive confidence in, in what you're doing and it can really almost help her see what she can do in her career without noticing it at first. Sometimes when you're forced to kind of write your story down or say it out loud, um, you notice something different about yourself. And we've already gone through a few iterations of that Pecha Kucha, and in, in our next meeting, she's going to actually deliver the full talk to me. So I'm really excited to see that. Um, but I've already noticed such huge improvement of, you know, what is that? What what is that thing that's really different about her that makes her really unique in her work? And I think uh, being a mentor through this program and in general. Um, has been really helpful for my own practice, especially uh, in my teaching practice. Something I haven't mentioned is aside from Very Nice, I do do a lot of teaching. So I teach at Art Center, at CCA, and General Assembly also. And so any time when I get that chance to work more one-on-one -on -one with somebody, I feel like it makes me a better teacher. Because when you're stuck in a classroom with like 20 people, it's, it's you know, some, you, you will connect with students, but mostly you're in this kind of big group. And, and gaining kind of skills of really trying to hear somebody out and really trying to track their improvement and also check yourself, like, you know, are my suggestions immediately working? Um, this kind of format of those regular check-ins, I think, 
actually makes it really easy to do that. So I've, I've seen that be very helpful, you know, with my, with my teaching work especially.